Hey, welcome back to this video guys and today we are going to work on creating filters to our leads dashboard so that as a user I will be able to search a user by its name email address or I can filter out all the users by selecting from a drop down the package for example right now we have monthly package and yearly package right so we should be able to select all the users who have uh, shown interest in maybe the yearly package or the monthly package so on and so forth right? so what are we going to do basically we are going to um, run a search query on the name and the email field and a where condition on the package when the drop down is selected so let's get started the first thing that I want to do is open up my leads index page And in here, just after the top section, right, we will create a new row in here. Okay, and let's just get rid of these two things. And we are going to create a new form. And it will be an inline form. So form. The action will be to this same page. So dollar route lead dot list. Okay. We will be uh, making a <coughs> get call to this same URL. Okay. Route lead dot list and we have added a class form inline this is basically to get all the form elements in a horizontal fashion instead of a vertical one below the other kind of an output okay so the first input field will be a text field and hold on class will be form control let's add a placeholder search by name or email okay and uh, let's just say the name here is search okay this is done now the next field which i want to do is a select field okay right now we will do a little bit of hard coding so package underscore let's say search I don't need the ID name let's call it search dash package okay and this will also have some classes basic classes form control and now let's quickly see how first of all let us add the options so the inside options right what I'm going to do is the first option will be value as zero and I'll say all this will be selected by default. Then the rest ideally I could have done it dynamically but for now we will hard code a little bit of things so yearly package. This is two half yearly and three. Okay, I just want to uh, get the basic uh, functionality in place at first. So that's why I'm not putting too much attention in it because I have already shown how to get that drop down in place in my few uh, you know, past videos where I have created those forms. So you can refer to that. I'll link those videos in my description as well. For now, let's keep some things simple. So. I have a button which will work as the filter button and the reset is basically I'm taking the user back to this URL where there are no query parameters. Okay, so let, let us first understand what is happening in this piece of code. Okay, I'm getting an error somewhere. It says form action that is fine. 
duplicate attribute name okay this is a name here and name there as well so that's why it is complaining so let's just get rid of this maybe or oh, you know what actually this is safer because you know it's a url so i will keep the underscore so okay this is done i think now it will have a successful build and our form is looking very bad so i will add a few classes quick you know decoration let's just say we have some margin right three and column md3 okay it will give me some width so that I can have the entire search by name or email visible here and then in here again I'll have margin right 3 and call MD let's just keep it 2 because these are small okay and in here these two are sticking very close to each other so maybe one more margin right 3 and if everything is right we get a spaced out form simple little form nothing too fancy about this now what is going to happen is if i let's say search by what do we have in here leads yeah allen okay so as you can see the query parameter changes right it says question mark search equals allen and package underscore search is zero the search zero is required because um the value is zero right and it is selected by default however if i change it and do this as you can see search becomes empty and package search equals three and if i do both let's say wood and this is yearly filter so my query parameter becomes search equals wood and package equals three and last but not the least the reset button basically takes the user back to lead slash list and hence it's it is working as a reset okay so we are getting everything in our you know request parameters right so why don't we open up our lead controller okay the page which is responsible for you know getting us all this information and in here the first thing which i need to do is get the request and in here dump dollar request all so what is going to happen now i'll get an empty array that is fine and if i let's just say comment it out for some time would really package this and then i uncomment it so i get the array right so request all is giving me everything so you know we have done the first step now let us look at how we can improve our logic in here to support the filters so first things first i'll keep two variables package equals null and dollar search is equals to false okay so what that means is by default i have said that the package uh, is not selected at all okay and if request has a key which in our case is package search and dollar request input package search is not equal to 0 right then we will fetch the package which is package find or fail sorry okay find or fail request input oops package search right so we will get the package only if it is um how do you say if it was sent as a query parameter so let us see quickly this is here we get the package however if in a new tab if i come here i don't get that dump right because this condition was not true even if i do name it is okay it was supposed to 
it is failing right hmm this should not have happened i have a condition which is zero packet search if packet search is here and packet search is not equal to let's just see right okay i did a three equal to so it was maybe you know considering it as a numeric thing and i didn't want to do that okay so yeah i will get the package only if there is something like one or two or three right one two or three and if you push something which is not there we get a 404 okay so things are handled now i get the package the next thing which i want to check is whether there is a search string or not if the user has you know done a search or it is empty so request has um search and request input is search and we will check whether it is empty okay and then dollar search will become true because by default it is false fair enough now let's look at how we can build this query in a conditional manner so to do a conditional query we will use the eloquence when function okay so where these two queries are there and then we will do when let let's do it for the search first so when search is true i'll run the function it's a uh, another closure and we will do this and we will inside need the request object so use dollar request okay so what are we going to do we are saying that if search is true then query where name like and then percentage percentage inside this we will have request input search okay or where email like again this let's just copy this entire thing paste and we have our first condition in place and then the second one when say package is not equal to null function sorry fnctn function okay i'll pass the query and we will need to use the request in here and we will also need the package in here because we need to say in the where condition that the package name will be something like this so query where interested underscore package is equal to package name so maybe we don't need the request right so let's get rid of that so if package is not equal to null then inside the closure we are passing the query we are using package and this is here right so this is our query and now let's see how the results are coming in so first thing we will search for is let's say wood i get two results that is fine i do a reset i search for let's say gmail and i get three results because these are gmails and if i do gmail and monthly right i get only one because gmail and monthly package is only one user so yeah that's how you know typically the filter will work i can do reset i can search for you know a lot of combinations and yeah that's about it that's how we you know modified our laravel query builder to conditionally run these queries and uh, help us get the filtered results 
So if you like the video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.